Today, I'm going to be using my Cuisinart automatic bread maker I got for Christmas this year. And I'm gonna be doing a very easy recipe that only has like three or four ingredients. It's a basic French bread loaf. And I'm gonna be using the fast cycle. So basically it will be done in half the time. First, we're gonna add our one and a quarter cups of room temperature water. Then we are going to add our one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Then next we are going to be adding the flour. So I like to use my handy dandy sifter. It just takes out all the lumps, like it makes for a better loaf of bread. You can use one if you have one. If you don't, just leave it out. I've made several things with my Cuisinart bread maker. Um, this by far is the most simplest recipe in the book that comes with the bread maker. I've made pizza dough, pastry dough, banana bread. There's lots of different recipes that come with the book. If you guys um, are like me and are kind of, I guess what you would call a lazy baker, I think the bread machine is the way to go. Who wants to be spending all day rolling out bread, watching it rise, kneading it? It's a lot of work. We're almost done sifting our flour. That was three and a quarter cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. So when I go to put my yeast in, I like to make a little hole to kind of pour the yeast in. That's it. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the bread maker. Our pan just kind of pops out and you're gonna set it inside the machine and you're gonna put it in kind of caddy corner and then rotate it so it locks in place. Then you're gonna close up your bread machine, turn it on, and we're gonna go to this program button up here at the top. And as you can see, I have all the settings listed. We're gonna be doing the ultra fast French loaf bread. So we're gonna go to four. Sets the timer for you, two hours and three minutes. Now you can do the traditional French bread setting, which is number two, but again, we modified our recipe to do the fast setting. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And you can see it's just rotating the flour, mixing it all together. Um, vertically, your bread is sitting in here. It's not getting the heat source from the top. So it doesn't tend to get that brown color, the really pretty color you like to see when you make your French bread. So what I went ahead and did is I turned my oven to 400 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the bread out of the baking pan and put a little yellow egg wash on the outside of my bread and put it in the oven for the remaining 15 minutes or so so it can brown up. Now you do have your little paddle that was mixing the bread up, so you want to make sure that you grab that out. And there's a little handy dandy paddle hook that you're going to use to take that out. turn the bread over. Now, I did not use the unbleached flour. It's probably why it is so white, but you guys can tell me if that's the reason why it says to use unbleached flour and my flour's bleached, because that's all I had. So anyway, I know it works when I put the egg wash on it in the oven, so I'll show you what it looks like.
exposed to the heat source. So that's the only thing about a bread machine is the top just doesn't tend to get the brown color as if you were doing in a traditional oven. after about 10 minutes at 400 and let it broil for probably about three minutes just to brown it up a little bit more and look at this gorgeous color. It's shiny, it's crunchy. Isabella, my daughter, loves to eat French bread with olive oil and Parmesan cheese. Come on and like and subscribe and learn how to make this French bread.